time. This is Droge with a little bit of a Christmas special. Today I'm gonna tell you why this little snowman is a thirsty horny boy. Yeah, more about that later. Today, 10 fun facts about the winter stage Cool Cool Mountain. Let's jump right in. So this sign at the very start of the stage says, Santa Claus isn't the only one who can go down the chimney, come on in. Signed by the Caprin Proprietor. Now interestingly, in Chinese it's the same translation, host of the cabin. In Japanese though, it's signed by the owner of the snowman house. Snowman house, that's weird. And in French it's even signed by the snowman himself, le bonhomme de neige. Now you'd think the cabin belongs to this bonhomme de neige, right? But I'm not sure because they always refer to themselves as just a snowman, but never the snowman. However, if you read this sign in Snowman's Land, it says the snowman. Or in French again, le bonhomme de neige. This means that all these persons are the same person. And that this small cabin right here belongs to this huge snowman here. Possibly, I don't know if this even made sense, but yeah, let's continue. Number 2. The mother penguin is literally called mother penguin in every single language, except for German. There she's called Mama Pinguinola. I have no idea why. By the way, the official German guidebook also tells you that she's the brother of the fast penguin on the slide. Number 3. Did you know that on the frosty slide there's a hole in the wall which li- <laughs> No, of course you knew about that, but there's an extra life right at the start and the second extra life seems to be impossible to get. In fact, you cannot get it in real time. It will always fly off to the left, making it impossible to collect it. Impossible? Not quite, 17 years after this game's release, a Japanese tool-assisted speedrunner by the name of Toyoru2 was finally able to collect the one up with a series of precise first frame wall kicks. But at what cost? Number 4. The infamous Snow Mountain soundtrack from Super Mario 64 is also used at Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games for the Nintendo Wii. In fact, they used the remix for the Dream Snowball Fight event. And it goes like this. Okay, are you ready for a quiz? So, there's two stages in the game with more than one cannon. One of them is Bob on Battlefield, the other one is, and that's fun fact number 5, Cool Cool Mountain. Now, do you know how many cannons Cool Cool Mountain has? If you know the answer, type it down below in the comments, let's see how many get it right. Okay, number 6, did you know that the penguin baby is called Tuxy because it kinda looks like it's wearing a tux? Okay, but did you also know that it makes the sound of a car? Okay, so many people know that if you dive close to Tuxi, they will perform a dive as well. But what not many people know is that the sound that Tuxi makes... ...is actually from the General Series 6000 sound effects library and is called Alarm Car, Set Car Alarm Auto. The sound effect is widely used in commercials, for example in the TAC Drink Driving TV ad. Shopping. Did you hear it right there? Shopping, 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 blowing into the interlock. Yeah, same noise as the penguin. Now for number 7, if you follow my Twitter account already, you might know that in CCM if you jump onto this spin drift right here, and then hold A in the right moment, you can reach this body of water underneath Mama Pinginola, and this is how you can swim in Cool Cool Mountain, and it's the only way. Now number 8 is a quick one. So for the remake for Nintendo DS, they barely changed any painting, except for the Cool Cool Mountain painting, where for whatever reason they took the broom from the right snowman and gave it to the smaller snowman on the left. Whatever, let's talk about the horny snowman from Super Mario 64. In fact, the horny snowman almost got its own game. 
In the Nintendo Power Volume 107 from 1998, there was an article, and by the way, this is real, that stated that the fans wanted a game featuring Luigi and would get Headless Snowman 64 instead, a game with our horny snowman as the protagonist. The magazine, however, was released on April Fool's, so Headless Snowman 64 was evidently just a fun hoax. Now you might wonder why I keep calling the snowman horny. In the French version, if you talk to the head of the Bonhomme de Neige, he will tell you that he desperately needs a buddy so he can go golfing the next day. Sounds like he needs Mario's help, right? Okay, let's help him. But after we're done helping him, he will reveal his true motive. Maintenant je vais pouvoir aller draguer, which translates to finally I can hit on girls again. You see, he lied to us, he literally lied to us because he was horny. By the way, the French translator for Super Mario 64 is Julien Bardakov, the same guy who voiced Luigi in the first two Mario Party games. When he translated Super Mario 64 from Japanese to French all by himself, he built in a lot of small easter eggs and a lot of funny dialogues, for example, the horny snowman. This is Drogi. Thank you so much for watching, please consider following my social media, I appreciate it a lot and I wish you very nice Christmas. Oh, and special thanks to these people, especially to Jack Puff Guy for providing me with the cool Super Mario 64 stage renders. And once again, thanks for watching, see ya!